Hi Gemini, welcome to your When the X Returns reading for mid-December to the end of December 2018. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. Nine of, hello, nine of Cups, happiness, contentment with a situation or your present situation. This involves um, a short-term situation turning out the way you want it, um, getting your wish, a happy circumstance, or a serendipity. Ace of Cups, ooh, Ace of Coins, Four of Coins, Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Six of Cups. King of Coins, King of Swords, good God, Eight of Cups. Queen of Coins, my goodness gracious, the Hermit, finally. Um, Virgo, okay. Ace of Swords, sorry, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, wow, one, two. Eight of Coins and Three of Cups. All right. So um, your ex coming back, they are probably trying to make sense of this breakup, what happened, and they want help from you. They want you to help them get over you, basically. All right. So, um, a okay, they've been soul searching and this whole you know, drop of cards here is like indicative of probably what's going on in their mind as far as um, what happened, why the breakup, that sort of thing, what they've been thinking about. Um, there was a love there, if not still is, and the relationship was just a great opportunity for security or just it was a new beginning in security and yet maybe somebody was kind of controlling or miserly with that. There might have been some arguments or heated debates or someone might have taken more than they were giving and done things hastily, like not really um, given regard to the relationship. Maybe they were controlling. It was all about them. They wanted things right away when they wanted it, what they wanted it. Um, maybe there was a lot of stop start. Maybe there's a lot of breakups getting back together, breakups getting back together. So this could have happened shortly after the relationship started, you know, like, it's, oh my gosh, you fell in love. And then there's this brand new, like, you know, right away you felt this kismet and things were very just, you were off and running on this adventure or like trying to create some security or a future together talking about that. But it was kind of one sided. Things might've gotten controlling, um, a lot of confusion and, you know, basically maybe something from the past came up to haunt them or, Feeling like this was, as things went along, feeling like this is really a soulmate connection. Not knowing what to do. Things coming up from the past, as they always will, right? But there's that security and stability there. But then, so we have the ace kind of transmuted here to the king. So someone is feeling very secure versus just a new beginning for you both feeling secure. Then it goes to someone sitting in the catbird seat and someone else kind of like, okay... And this is about control. This could be about someone. So it started off as this, a new adventure, a new reciprocity, this feeling. And then it got to, it evolved into kind of someone feeling like, wait, what's happening here? And next thing you know, someone's basically calling all the shots in the relationship. Um, it might have been a secure relationship, but somebody was definitely in control or holding all the cards and kind of dictating the pace and what would be done and how we spend our money and where we go and shop and do and what and not, you know, um, made somebody want to walk away and be by themselves due to this, this, what once was a love turned into kind of a very controlling relationship. And which brings us to here, the hermit. They have gone inward to talk or to think about this, but they want your help and understanding and getting over it. And I don't know about that, Gemini. I'm just saying. Uh, this could be Virgo. It's kind of selfish. It's kind of like, it's kind of indicative of what's going on here, Gemini, because it's almost like this person, love for them is service. 
that might be a love language thing, you know, but love for them is someone being in service of them. So once again, they're going to show up and, ex and to some degree expect maybe help from you to help them move on, which is kind of weird, but okay. Um, because this is you right here wanting to be by yourself after this control and kind of like, what is going on here? This is you walking away and just, because this is, there's a love there, but you're like, I can't with this. This is too controlling. And everything's about you. You know what I mean? Okay. So how they feel about you right now, like what, what they think of when they think of you or, you know, is basically, um, let's clarify this here. Things are, oh my gosh, the aces, holy cow, the aces. Um, they feel like things are cut off and they're, once again, they're on their own and wanting, it's a new beginning. They feel cut off. This is doubling down. I'm feeling disconnected and cut off. And they, they feel like you cut them off and that you're off doing your own thing and they feel disconnected from you. Um, this speaks to a lack of security. This is secure. So they could be thinking that you're down and out without them. They could be looking at you like, okay, go off and do your own thing, but it's not going to last because you need me. You're down and out without me. They could be having an epiphany. They could be trying to sort this out and feel like, okay, or be thinking about, you know, I want this passionate new beginning with them. I want this opportunity. I, I want to talk to them. I want to start again with them. And I hate to say, but maybe they're looking at you like, oh, you're kind of down and out or not as secure as you should be. I can help with that. Let me come and help you. That's maybe their way of offering you love. I don't, I don't know. I, I, they could be feeling like you cut them off and you're off doing your own thing. And they're feeling that disconnect or that you feel that disconnect from them. This feels arrogant to me, Gemini. It feels like somebody kind of almost thinks like they're doing you a favor by coming back and asking for your help to help heal them. Okay. Wow. Um, the, again, with the arrogance, Gemini, it's weird. It feels like they're, they're not quite sure what to make of the ending. Uh, maybe they're thinking that, oh, you know, work, work conflicts, work got involved. You know, I'm, I'm busy over here creating security and, and my mind was on work and I wasn't able to give you enough time. It could be that. It could be somebody wanted to go be by themselves and just do their own thing. Um, this is someone, it could be that they're having an epiphany and realizing they need to work on a few things because it can be quite controlling. Could be somebody wanted the breakup because they figured out what they wanted to do with the rest of their life or they had an awesome idea and they wanted to go work on that and create it and figure out how to make that work and the relationship took a back burner. It could be that, you know, there's a lot of could be's here because this is general, but it, it just, this almost feels like maybe somebody in the relationship was like, you know, this isn't working for me. I want to end this here. And they're like, mm, I don't know about that. I think it's working just fine. Like them kind of evaluating a reason for wanting to break up and not, and it being a shock to them, like, wait, what? And then them figuring out damage control, maybe figuring it out like, well, wait a minute, we've got to work on this. Wait, what? You know, it's almost like, okay, I'm leaving you now, bye. And they're like, wait, no, and that's not acceptable. Wait a minute. There's a real arrogance here. Cross watchers, I'm sorry. This probably isn't for you. And if it is, you're probably not receptive to it anyway. This is a double bind, right? But there's an arrogance here, Gemini. Somebody is very into monetary or uh, financial material security. That trumps any kind of love. It looks like they're showing back up thinking they can help you because you feel disconnected or they view you as down and out. This could be that they feel a disconnect from you, that you're off doing your own thing, but it's like they, it's almost like they're wondering how you're doing it without them, with being separate and apart from them. How are you doing that? They are not seeing anybody. I think they're concentrating on making money or their work or whatever. Uh, I think work is a large part of their day. They're not seeing anybody. They might have dalliances here and there, but they're not seeing anybody stable. If they are, there's conflict. This person is somebody that's kind of closed off from their emotions. So um, it's, I think it, this, this seriously, this, it, this feels like they're thinking, they're kind of bewildered by your exit or the fact that the relationship broke up. Well, why, why should, wait a minute. It's very secure. 
Well, it might have been secure for them, but it wasn't working for you. You felt controlled. Um, okay. Here's the thing. This is celebration and a cause for celebration, but for me in this reading, it feels like they, um, yeah, judgment call. Okay, if, yeah. This feels like they're going to not be, you're, you're going to be one of many. They're just passing through. They're just coming back to try and understand why the breakup was. I feel like it's a, I feel like they're coming back to try and find you at fault somehow. I, I think they're having a hard time with this because you probably were the one that left and nobody leaves them and they can't understand why and they're trying to figure out a way to get control of the situation and what would be best for them in their mind is to figure out what you did wrong rather than, I mean this is soul searching but it just feels like they're not really open to their own culpability here. It feels like they're going to want to find some way, if they can't make it work, if they can't control it and make it work, then they're going to have to find some way to make it about your deficit, if that makes sense. Like what you did wrong or cross watchers, I'm sorry. Um, this right here is about them, again, showing up for you to kind of help them through it. And then them moving on and still dating and still not settling down with anybody. Okay, third party situations here. And... Your involvement, if you answer the call, text, whatever, answer that door, knock, ring, whatever, it is, keep in mind, this is just to help them heal and move on because this is them trying to close out a cycle. This is them basically trying to examine all of the issues that came up from their past and close out a cycle so they can be free and clear and go off to create again, okay? It could be that they've come full circle with what's gone on over here. They realize their culpability and they, you know, basically they see you as, okay, you know, I, I want to make you my queen, okay, but I don't buy that. I think that this is just them wanting to reconnect for their own purposes. They've been doing some soul searching. This is also soul searching right here. Um, and they just want some help making sense of it. And then they're going to be on their way doing what they want to do when they want to do it and live in their life. So Gemini, this is, if them coming back around is just kind of, hey, yeah, could we talk about this again? I, I'm still not clear on what really happened there. Do you know what I mean? It's like, really? You were there. Like, did, uh, okay. This would not sit well with me. I would, <laughs> Just saying, I don't feel like, I feel like it's a very selfish thing to do, especially if like you're kind of, if you're not torn up about him, if you're not what, you know, them, not him, them, this is fluid, male or female, um, great, do what you want. I mean, you know, and take the reading for what it's worth, but I just, this is very self-serving to me. I don't like that. That would not sit well with me. Just saying. All right, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Inner sanctuary, you stay guarded. This is about your own Zen garden. And maybe you're feeling really at peace with things. You're happy with the way your life's going, okay? Um, maybe it's enough for you that they just show back up because that, for you, was like, yeah, I did mean something to this person. I felt very controlled, but at least I mattered to them enough to show up and go, hey, wait a minute, I'm so confused. However, to be careful. Um, you stay guarded and you keep your feelings to yourself in your own inner sanctuary. And, you know, shutting up because I'm sitting here telling you what to do. This would say or speak to you cultivating and creating your own inner sanctuary, which simply put in layman's terms, make sure you have coping skills at the ready. This person feels like they might kind of draw from you, especially if they're like, hey, can you help me? I want to go back into all probably the painful memories for you, and I want you to help me sort those out. And you're like, wait, what? So... Protect yourself. Stay guarded. Have your own happy place because this is going to probably mess with your head. Just saying. Just saying. Please don't hate me. I'm so sorry. This is just the way, you know, cross watchers and Geminis, if this doesn't resonate, it doesn't. But for me, this, this I'm feeling it. <laughs> Gemini. Right future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. All right. 
they're just passing through after all. So, you know, and, and this is you having a good time. And maybe, you know, it could be that you're just like, yeah, sure, we can go out to dinner and reminisce and talk, and then you both are on your way. This was, that, that dinner, that talk was just what they needed to go on their way. Maybe what you just needed to close out the cycle also, and then both of you are on your way, independent from each other, okay? I, I feel like it's more than that, though, just saying, because of all this backstory here, okay? Be careful. And I grabbed the wrong card again. perspective, gaining perspective. Um, there's no right or wrong, only the perception is different over time. Uh, so maybe there's been enough time passed where you can be generous, emotionally compassionate and generous and be like, yeah, sure, we can talk or whatever, you know, great. Um, this would suggest that them showing back up would just be like, oh, hey, hi, how are you? And there's like maybe a celebratory dinner and then you both are on your way. It's nothing more than that. They might just still be a little like, hey, I'm just still kind of confused about this, and it doesn't bother you. Maybe enough time has gone by to where it won't bother you. And, you know, it'll be a nice dinner, nice cup of coffee. All right, Gemini, that is what I have for you. I hope it was helpful. I hope me getting on my soapbox doesn't bother anybody, but if it does, it happens. Everything bothers everyone, so... Take it for what it's worth. Um, I thank you for stopping by. If you stay till the end, God love you. 17 minutes. <laughs> Me going round and round. I hope to see you in the next uh, reading. Take care.